Hey everybody, Johnny here. I wanted to take a moment and show you a new feature that's just come to the curve support in geometry nodes. Let's check it out. Here I have a simple geometry node set up with a Bezier curve going into a curve to mesh node, going into a point instance node, pointing to this cone, and then going to my group output. With this setup, you can see that the distribution of the points on the curve are controlled by the size of the handles of the curve. However, this might not always be the effect you're looking for. So a new node has been added. It's called Resample Curve. This node takes an object input, but it has to be of a curve object. So I'll place this between my object info for my Bezier curve and my curve to mesh. The Resample Curve has two options, count and length. Length tries to fit in as many points as it can using a given distance. So the smaller this distance is, the more points it's going to evenly distribute across the curve. Now, no matter the size of the handles, these cones will be evenly distributed. But the count will depend on the length of the curve. So as I drag the curve out longer, I'll get more instances. The other option is count. This will spread out a given number of instances along the curve. And as I change the length of the curve, the instances will get closer and further apart. This also works with the profile curve option. So if I hook up a Bezier circle to the profile curve, you'll see that those rings are evenly spaced and can be changed with the count. Or if I move into length mode, will grow and shrink as I move the endpoints. Again, this feature was just added to the Blender 3.0 Alpha version. You can download it at builder.blender.org. I really suggest you try it out. I hope this inspires you to make something awesome, and I hope it encourages you to keep learning Blender. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that, and I'll see you next time.